If you've been looking to use ClickUp in your business but don't really know where to get started or how to really use it, you're in the right place because in this video we're going to talk exactly how you can start using ClickUp in your business and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Let's get to it. So let's look at how you can start using ClickUp. By the way, if you're looking for the very basics of how the different parts of ClickUp work and the tech uh, behind ClickUp, you can find the link uh, right above where I have shared in detail the different aspects of ClickUp. In this video, I'm going to be sharing how you can how can how you can start implementing all these features in your business. So. The way I use ClickUp is I have a space for clients and I have a tracker where I, it's almost like a CRM uh, where I use the board view. You can pin views right here. So if there's a view you like, because I like different views and different kind of boards. So that's how I use it. And then you can just drag and drop things. So you can have uh, subtasks or notes for following up. Like if you want to follow up, you can give it a due date so that you get that reminder. And then if you linked click up to your Google Calendar using integrations, which is right here, uh, you will get all those uh, task reminders on your Google Calendar, which is really great, right? The other uh, other uh, space that I really use often is the content space. Now I have designed my content space a little bit of, a little bit uh, differently based on my needs, but I basically have three main spaces: the brain dump ideas uh, space where I actually brain dump uh, the kind of content I want to create. And for this particular space, I really like the mind map view, where I can you know really map out different things and just visually note down ideas. I then have a quarterly plan space, which is basically where I uh, list out potential ideas for the quarter based on what I'm selling or what I'm promoting. And then uh, once you know, I look at my ideas on a weekly basis, where the ones I like, I can just go in, uh, you know, maybe not even right now, maybe I would just move it to confirmed ideas. So for example, if for the next week, I have these two things as confirmed ideas. Uh, okay, so on Sunday when I sit to do my content planning, I know that these two are the videos that I want to do for YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, I'm going to write my keyword for this uh, YouTube video. I would then write a script. I generally don't script out my YouTube videos, especially for the tutorial ones. But I would just say uh, what I would do in this video, share how I use ClickUp. And then I would give it a deadline here or a due date. So the, when do I need to film this video, right? And then of course, there are tons of things that go into really creating an end-to-end -end YouTube video. And for that, I have a checklist template. So I will just use that YouTube checklist template to add it here. So I've decided the keyword. I have searched YouTube to see if keyword is relevant. Uh, I've done that. Now these are the remaining tasks. Uh, depending on you know what I do, I can just take it off. And now that this has been outlined, I will move it to outlined. Now I have set up a, an automation, which means when it is moved to outline, it acts actually added to my weekly schedule under post. So if I go here, uh, if I click on these three dots, you can see there is one automation that is set up. And if I click on that automation, it says when status changes and copy, if I edit it, you can see that. So when status changes to outlined, it, this task will be copied into my post list right here. So this is an automation. Now, since I've moved it here in my weekly post, I can see that here. And then again, for this particular list, I like the list view. So you can see it, it showed up under open. And here, these are custom fields. So channel is a custom field, which channel I'm sharing that on, what category it is, and what am I promoting. So for this video, I'm going to be promoting my ClickUp course. By the way, if you want to check out my ClickUp course, it's really affordable. And you'll be getting uh, my content template and three, four, four other templates. So definitely check it out. 
but uh, and of course in the video i'm not even only giving you the templates or in the course i'm also showing you how you can use it and then i will uh, select what category it is and the channel so the channel is youtube so now i have all these things in place now i can just go and start you know checking out or uh, just looking at these tasks and just checking them out so since i've copied this uh, the the checklist has copied but it hasn't really marked the tasks i've done so i'm going to do that and yeah so this this is basically how i map out my content on the quarterly plan i would list out all ideas for different platforms when i move it to outline those uh, ideas are added to my post which is basically my weekly post and I can I've created custom fields which you can go do here. So this is a label custom field. So let's say I wanted to have another custom field which said uh, what is the mode of so it could be video. It could I can add color here. So it could be video, it could be audio or it could be text. And I can add that column here. And then here I can, you can see that column showed up here and I can add video here, right? So basically makes it very easy for me to look at my content. So this is one of the more important spaces. The other space that I use is, uh, which is again, a lot of people don't really do this, but I really like doing it. And that's mapping out my course curriculums in ClickUp. So this is basically how I create the curriculum. Each, um, each module is a task. And then within the modules, I'm going to add subtasks, which are going to be lessons within the modules. So these are different lessons. And then I can add like a due date for this. I can add a due date for each of the lessons individually. So let's say I want to add a due date for this. I could do that here and so on and so forth. And then what I can do is, so uh, all these are here. What I want to do is I want to look at these under the main module. So under subtasks, I can do expand all. And then you can see these are visible here. And then I can choose that these are in the content assistance module, which is again a custom field. And then I have custom fields for whether the slides have been created, whether the video has been recorded, edited, uploaded, right? So I have created a custom field, which is basically a checkbox. So you could create a checkbox custom field. And this really helps me track, you know, where I am in terms of you know, creating the different slides, recording it, editing it, and uploading it. And then I can have due dates based on, you know, when I plan to launch. So this is another board I use. I also create a lot of checklists. So I'll show you the workflows I have. And again, this is something I am sharing in the paid course, if you want to check it out. But this is basically a workflow for each big task. So on the Facebook group work workflow, based on how much content you post this is basically the checklist you can click here and save this checklist as a template so that every week you can uh you can copy this template right and use it uh for that particular week similarly like i showed you when i created the youtube task i added this particular checklist which was already created as a template all of these tasks and then i also have the business hub where i store my links, uh, where I brain dump, business finances, planning, offers, goals, all those things. And the one thing that I also do here is daily actions. I like to use the board view for that, which is basically I work based on Pomodoro's, which is 25 minute intervals. So what I do is I have all these tasks I need to do in a day. And all these tasks take 25 minutes of focused work, right? It's not like you can do other things and do this. Pomodoro is only for really like 100% focused work, which is recording videos, maybe going live, you know, all those kind of things. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I'm working on 
let's say like I have to go ahead and for uh, I have this task update website. And again, I don't have anything written for it. I, I just keep it very clean. This is my task and now I'm going to work on it. So it goes into in progress. I'm going to go to my website. And I, if this, this is where I'm working on the task, I will open my ClickUp Chrome extension. I will start tracking tra time here. I will choose that task, which is update website. And I, the timer will start. And in 25 minutes, I'm going to close it. So that I work only for 25 minutes on each task assigned. And then once the, those 25 minutes are up, I can either move it to review for later review or I can move it to close. So these are basically some of the ways I uh, work inside of ClickUp and these are some of the ideas for you to start using. The reason why I really like ClickUp is because you can switch between views. You have the mind map view, which is really helpful for someone who likes to visually see or look at these things and come up with ideas and then again you know you have those google integrations or you have automations which are really helpful so i hope this video was helpful don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you really like this video and also do check out my course on clickup i will see you in the next video Bye bye